we have an airbag air light and the cause of this is actually nothing wrong with the airbag system itself it is due to right here this LED light being out in the middle and so we're going to fix that now we're gonna pop off this plastic lens all you do is pry it out from the front it'll pop off on both ends like one two and then you can just pull the whole thing out pull it out then there are a couple of Phillips head screws here and here we will remove those next once you've removed those two screws then you're just going to one two three kind of push on these little tabs this way and that will allow everything to pop down and come out we have released those three plastic tabs this whole thing all just drops out right here, and there is a wire connector right here. A couple of them that we're just going to undo. The three wire connectors were one here, one here, and one tucked in here. They all three just have little tabs that you push on. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Now we have this whole unit out. We're going to use a screwdriver, Phillips head, and remove these two screws right here. To take this panel out. Once we remove these two screws, this little panel will come out, and now we will have two more screws we need to undo here so we can get to the other side of this little board, which is the culprit. Once those screws are out, you can just pull this off and you can see all the solder joints down here at the base of the LEDs, and you're just going to go through and redo any ones that look suspicious like there's a couple here that look like they don't have really good connectivity and you can always check with a multimeter you don't want to check the end of this little wire with the end on this connector because that's pretty much going to be continuous you want to check if the solder around it has connectivity with the other end of the wire and you want to make sure that they're all continuous and that should solve your problem all right, I have fixed the uh, connection that looked bad. It was the one that was on the yellow wire in my case. Might be different in yours. And so you can just plug this guy right back into here without even putting all the rest of the trim in just to test uh, in case, you know, you, you didn't quite get it. You don't want to have to put everything back together all over again. So now that that's together, we'll go ahead and start the car and see what's going on. All right, we've got some lights coming on over here. Then we'll take a look down and the airbag light turns off as it should after a few seconds. Now that we have everything reassembled, we'll just start the car one more time and make sure that all those solder repairs held up through the final manipulation. All the lights come on up there. And airbag light turns off here. Good to go.